Thanks, Alex. Good afternoon, everyone. I run the, the Zurich-based uh, not-for-profit foundation, Cleantech 21, and uh, we're very happy uh, today that uh, I think for the first time in the context of climate negotiations, we're talking about uh, these two very attractive areas, blockchain on the one hand and climate on the other. Now, for all those of you who are not familiar with blockchain, the time at this press conference certainly isn't sufficient to go in depth into the concept of what blockchain is. Uh, the Economist has called it a trust machine. In essence, it allows, it's a distributed database technology, and in essence, it, it allows third parties to transact with each other without a middleman. Uh, parties who don't trust each other can interact and act in a trusted and very efficient form. Now, my background is in software technology, and even though I'm a climate guy for the last 10 years, I kept on reading about blockchain. And I was surprised to see you know, the World Economic Forum as one example, calling this technology one of the five most attractive and important technologies for the coming two decades. We have that on the one hand, and on the other hand, we have climate change, which is probably the world's greatest challenge to solve. So it was out of this thought that uh, it became obvious that these two fields need to be combined. And the way this happened was really uh, just before COP22 in Marrakesh, I sort of intensified the research on what happens already in this space. I was privileged to be part of the Liechtenstein delegation at uh, COP22, and therefore I first started to talk to uh, Liechtenstein as a party about uh, what about you know, thinking about potential of blockchain uh, concerning climate change, and luckily, uh, Liechtenstein has embraced that, and we've gone from there. We have, uh, in the course of December, January, February, uh, done three uh, full-day workshops in Zurich involving different type of stakeholders, and we have quickly found that it's not one particular area that blockchain could really help uh, implementing the Paris Agreement, but really that there's a whole plethora of different topics one can and should go into. So what we have done uh, is we've formulated a project called Carbon BC, standing for Carbon Blockchain, which is which, the, the mission of which is really to become an innovation ecosystem at this interface, blockchain and climate. In order to do so, we have a three-track three um, project Track one is basically a basic research track in which, with government funds, we look at specific research areas that we think are relevant. And for this, Jörg Füßler will go into a bit more detail. He's a lead consultant for that. Um, uh, so we look at the basics. We also found during our workshops and uh, looking at other industries that blockchain for many is a very abstract type concept, and in order to bring it to stakeholders, it's really important to go into specific use cases. So track two of our project includes five specific use cases, and we have, we're very glad to have won the Zurich uh, University ETH to lead manage a consortium that includes five different teams from five different use cases. And as track three, uh, we have what we call an innovation call-out, and the innovation call-out is basically what it says. It's a call-out to the community that we as a team, as the existing team, don't know it all by far, and we reach out to everybody else who is interested to work specifically at this interaction, climate and blockchain. And so as my last point, I'd like to conclude by, by announcing that the Carbon Blockchain Project will, as a first specific uh, effort, organize a blockchain hackathon here at COP20, or here in Bonn at COP23. So we'll come, we come up with an interesting hackathon concept, and it will encourage everyone who wants to participate in this to contact us. Um, as of now, we can be contacted for that by using the email address carbonbc at cleantech21.org, and if you do so, please specify exactly um, where and what you would like to contribute, because we already have and experienced quite a lot of interest. Thanks a lot.